Hello everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central and today I'm talking about proofreading. And why am I talking about proofreading? Well, last week one of my young students uh, was a little bit upset, a little bit worried uh, about his finished products. Uh, we're in uh, the end of the semester for high school here, exams are happening now and culminating activities and papers had to be in last week and this week. So he was concerned about his final product because many times, uh, and this has happened with many students, this just happened to occur again last week, but I've had this over the years, they do a lot of work, they talk to the teacher, the teacher seems very happy with their rough draft or with their thesis or with their topic sentences, then they finish the article, the assignment handed in and they get it back and it doesn't have a very good grade, it doesn't have a good mark. Why do I have such a bad mark when I've done all this work, I did the research, did the rough drafts, the teacher checked uh, certain things along the way and everything was great and here's this poor mark. Well, there can be many reasons but a big one that I see over and over again and you can usually find this if you have a, a good teacher who puts comments on your paper, you'll see all sorts of little notes on your paper. You didn't proofread and edit. You have to leave time and you have to put in the effort to do that final step. The proofreading and editing, it's like polishing it up, making it beautiful before you hand it in. And some students think, well, it doesn't really matter, does it, if there's a comma missing, if the, there's a word that's out of place, uh, these sorts of things. Well, it does matter because a lot of little things add up to something very large and uh, it can really uh, hurt your mark, but it, it also hurts your message, it hurts your paper and that's why the mark sometimes drops on that so-called final product. So I always want you to proofread your work, whatever it is, certainly any written work. You need to take the time, uh, when you're planning, set some time aside to go through. Most people know to look for things like spelling mistakes, um, uh, sentences that are, are not structurally sound, uh, and grammar errors, uh, punctuation mistakes but you should also look for unity and coherence. You want to make sure that your article makes sense. In other words, it's understandable when you read it, uh, or more importantly, when your teacher reads it, and also that your ideas are unified. So if it's a paragraph, everything should say something about that topic sentence. If it's a longer, longer article, uh, you usually have a thesis or some sort of theme, you want to make sure that everything relates to that thesis or that theme in some way and that it clearly relates. Uh, sometimes I read papers and yes, there's information in there, but I have to do a lot of work to try to figure out what the author meant. You want your teacher to be able to read it and understand what you meant right away, very easily, the grade starts to rise if they don't have to decipher or decode what your meaning is. Your, that's your job to make sure that's clear. So you want to go beyond just the basic spelling and grammar. Here are a couple of tips uh, to help you. You should read your work aloud whenever possible because uh, normally that slows us down a little bit and we often hear or find mistakes when we read our work aloud that we didn't see when we were reading silently and part of that is because when we read silently we often read quickly. We've, you've probably been working on the article for a while so all the ideas are fairly clear in your mind so when you read your paper or if you're reading it on a computer screen you fill in any missing bits so if there's a missing word or a wrong word, you correct it automatically. You don't see the mistake. Uh, it's right there, but you just don't see it. You're, you're kind of blind to it after a while because the thoughts are so clear in your mind, you think they're already there. The other trick uh, or method, it's not really much of a trick, is to read from the last sentence up. So, so read your article from top to bottom because you have to make sure that it flows, that it makes sense, that you have that unity and coherence. 
But also take some time and read from the bottom up. Read your last sentence, second last, third last. Read backwards. So, uh, because this really slows you down and, and forces you to look sentence by sentence a lot more carefully. And you might be surprised what you find. I've had lots of students, uh, when they're doing their proofreading, they tell me, oh, everything's fine, everything's perfect. I know it's good. Sometimes I'll read it out loud, and I'll read it exactly the way it's written. And it can be fun. It can be humorous. We both get a good laugh out of it <laughs> because these very, very strange mistakes are still in the paper. So r those two uh, little tricks or methods can be helpful for weeding out those um, sort of hidden mistakes because when you're reading through, you, you think you've put what was in your head. And sometimes it doesn't always hit the paper or the computer screen. So you want to make sure that you proofread everything you write and edit it. Don't just proofread it and find the mistakes and then do nothing. Make sure you fix the errors. Um, just finished looking over an essay a couple of times last night for s someone else and uh, suggested corrections, reread it. Most of the corrections I suggested had not been done, had not changed. So why am I rereading this? So make sure that you. Uh, when you do proofread, that you actually make those changes when you find the mistakes. Make sure you edit them. I uh, encourage you to read the blog this week as well. There's a little example there uh, that might catch you off guard. Uh, it's interesting too. And the videos and blog, they're always related or almost always related, but sometimes there's, they're a little bit different as well. And it's good to hear it and read it as well. Sometimes the repetition in different formats helps you to remember. But the main thing is keep writing, keep having fun, but also take the time to proofread. It's really important to make sure that your finished product is in fact finished. <laughs> okay, don't forget to sus subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, I hope you do. Uh, make a comment, ask a question. You can do it here if you're watching on YouTube or you can uh, check out the website. I'll put a link below. You can put comments there or ask questions there. You can also email me. I always like to hear from people. We're uh, already registering people for summer tutoring and there's the online courses as well. So if you want to continue learning through the summer, which I strongly encourage, I think it's a wonderful thing to keep learning, and you want to coach, let me know and I'll help you out. Uh, information's on the website. The links will be below. It's Ron from LTL Tutoring Central. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.